So this is question number four. A Pelton wheel with two jets produce power of two megawatts at 400 RPM. Wheel diameter is 1.5 meter. Gross head is 200 meter. Efficiency for the delivery pipe is 90%. Relative velocity at outlet was decreased 10% from inlet. And the bucket angle is 165 degrees. So you need we need to calculate the net head, the oiler head, the hydraulic efficiency, and the diameter of jet. Okay, so uh, we go for the velocity triangle first. So I hope you could draw this one. So again, uh, from the uh, few questions that we already discussed, you will find that the value of VF2 and V2 is actually not exist in pattern wheel. Okay, but uh, in theoretical, in our velocity triangle, it is uh, you need to show the VF2 and V2 just to reflect that you really understand the, the velocity triangle. So we go for the net head here. So it's quite straightforward. So it is actually uh, equal to the effective head. So from the question, we know that uh, it is 90%. The efficiency delivery for the efficiency for delivery pipe is 90%. So means that we have a tank here. So and then the efficiency of this pipe is uh, 90 percent so we multiply with 0 0.9 so means that the effective head is 180 meter at the end of the pipe here so and then uh, this that is the net head so next we could calculate the oiler head so this is the equation of the uh, oiler head it's similar with the francis turbine however so uh, I already show you in uh, previous slide. So we, we need to substitute with the V1, V2, and so on and so forth. So U1 and U2 here is actually the same parameter. So it can be written as this equation. Okay. So here I just show you in some textbook, they just use the value of beta 2. Cos beta 2 is here. And some textbook, they will use the value of theta. So means if you want to use the value of theta, you need to write as cos uh, 180 minus theta. So I hope you really understand the meaning of each equation here. Okay, now uh, we calculate the value of u. So we know the value of uh, RPM here. We could calculate the value of u is 31.4 meter per second. So, and then we need to calculate the value of V1. In some textbook, they will say it is the, the value of Vz. So, and then we know that the effective head is 180. So, because it is not uh, given any value, so we assume that uh, we assume that the value of Cv is equal to 100%, 1, 1 1.0. So, we get the velocity Vz is 59.43 meter per second. So, and then from the question here, so the, the relative velocity at outlet was decreased 10%. So, you must know that it is actually reflect the value of uh, relative VR1 and VR2. And when it's traveled on this bucket, so we found that it uh, feel a certain uh, friction. So, the velocity will become slower. So, the, the coefficient is 0 0.9 because... Uh, it stated 10% less. So, and then we substitute uh, everything here. So, and then uh, we could calculate the oiler head is equal 167.71 meter. So, the hydraulic efficiency. So, hydraulic efficiency is actually the oiler head divided by effective head. So, this is the simple one. Uh, the complete one is actually we we divide power out divide by power in. So and then the power out is actually if we, we have a bucket here. So this is the, the water heat and then the water comes out. So it means this is an input, this is an output. So the power in here is actually the power because of the effective heat here. Okay, so and then the power out here is actually about the oiler head. Okay. So 
the equation for power is rho g q h and power out here is Euler head. So and then the power for in is rho g q and h and at inlet here the h here is effective head. So we could cancel the value of rho g q. That's why we could write the hydraulic efficiency is Euler head divided by effective head. So if we divide this one, so we will get it's 93.17%. Or you could calculate the effective, uh, the hydraulic efficiency by using the equation. And sometimes in certain textbooks, you will have this one. Because the value of phi here is actually the ratio between the U and also the, uh, the velocity of jet. Okay, please make sure that you really understand this one because... This is Vj square and we have another phi here. Okay, please do not simply say that you just replace everything. You need to make sure that you really understand the, the equation. Okay, so if you, okay, if you calculate this one, okay, it is equal to 93.17%. Then uh, we need to calculate the diameter of jet. So the diameter of jet here is not the diameter of delivery pipe. So the diameter of jet is actually, we have a delivery pipe here and maybe we have nozzle here. So this is the jet, the diameter of jet actually, the, the diameter of the water jet. Okay, from the question, uh, we know that the power output is two megawatt. So mean two times 10 to the power of six. So, and then because uh, we assume that there is no uh, losses in terms of mechanical and so on, because uh, it is not clearly stated in the question. So uh, we take that the overall efficiency is uh, like this one. So we could calculate the, uh, the flow rate here is equal to 1.216 meter cube per second because we have two jets, so we need to divide this uh, flow rate. So flow rate for one jet is 0 0.608 meter cube per second. And then we could calculate the diameter of jet by using this idea. So uh, we, will we already discussed it in previous lecture. So we get the diameter of jet is 0 0.114 meter. 